Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty, and today is Sunday, March 8th, 2020. And remember, when you're seeing this video, it's exactly when you are supposed to see it, and the messages that are in this video hopefully will make sense to you. But don't worry if they don't. Come back to the video again, because I'm sure when you see it again, it will totally make sense. So we're working with a deck called Angel Power and I'm shuffling up the cards and I'm asking the cards to give whoever is seeing this a message that they need to receive for their highest good. And I'm going to pull three cards right now and we have card number one, card number two, and card number three. Okay, let me just move them over. Card number one, card number two, card number three. And today I also have this selenite stick. And I love this stick. I use it a lot during a Reiki session. And what it does is it clears, it's, it helps to clear energy. And if you've been watching my videos, you notice that I'm using different crystals. I might be using different oils. The candle that's burning is called Nag Champa. And I have incense for that as well. And that is also a clearing, um, I want to say smell, the incense stick. It's kind of like sage. You know, if you know anything about sage, you know that that clears the space. And using all of these different tools really just helps to clear the space, raise the vibration of the space, connect more to the realms that we're working with, the spiritual realms, to help you to receive this, the message that you need to receive through the cards. And I hope that you feel that energy as you're watching this message. And maybe you want to take a second to close your eyes and just imagine that the energy is swirling around you and clearing your space and clearing your aura and clearing any negativity or any burdens that you might be carrying right now. And if you're someone that feels a lot of uh, pain in your neck or pain in your shoulders, just know that you're carrying too many burdens. And what you're being asked to do before we even begin today, as you have your eyes closed, is give those burdens to God or whoever you call upon as your creator, divine source, whatever it is. Just know that you are being supported. And if you're being attracted to watching these messages, it's because you need the support. And you should. You should take the support because the angels and everyone wants to help you. So give, you know, we all have free will as humans. So you want to give permission to those beings to help and support you. Allow them into your energy field. Allow them into your space. Allow them into your mind to help you, to support you, and to guide you. Okay, so let's begin with the card reading. I don't know, we just went off on, I guess somebody needed to hear that, that we went off on that little tangent, but it's good to hear. We have card number one, card number two, and card number three. And we'll start with card number one. Ooh, card number one is upside down. And it says, Miracles Out of Mistakes. And when it's upside down, this card tells me that it's something that you need to pay attention to. So if you chose card number one, you must be hard on yourself. We just talked about burdens, so it makes sense. Um, a lot of times when we make a mistake as humans, we berate ourselves. We get so angry. Um, why did I do that? Why did I choose this? Well, you know, if you were in a relationship and the relationship didn't work out, why did I choose that person to be in relationship with? And it takes a lot of work, um, inner work, in order to realize that we... Um, we have mistakes in our lives because there's some lesson that we're supposed to be learning. And when you can look at that mistake in order to help and serve others to understand that through the mistake, a miracle can come of it, you can empower others in your mistakes. And so then the mistake no longer became a bad thing, the thing that you thought it originally was. So as an example, I will just use myself because I'm doing the reading. And as an example, so I just, I went through a divorce many years ago. And in the beginning, I was angry at myself. Why did I choose this person to marry? But now I can look at through that, through that situation, 
what came of that? You know, when I went to school, I went to school for something completely different, obviously not to do any of this work. But through the process of the divorce and having to go within and having to heal and work through healing, as I'm raising two small children, yoga came to me, Reiki came to me, angels came to me, the cards came to me, all of this stuff came to me and it developed into a business. And because of my story, I am able to help others go through their journey, whether it's a divorce or anything else. And see, what happens is you can't help others in a capacity such as this if you are not actually wounded. It's called a wounded healer. And only when you go through your stuff are you able to help others through their stuff. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be able to understand. So I'm sure if you're seeing this message, you've been through something in your life, whether it's a tiny little mistake or a bigger mistake. Even if you made little mistakes when you were a young child and now you're raising children, you could take the lesson that you learned from that mistake because it's probably still, you know, something that is dear in your heart to help your child so that they don't make the same mistake. So know that, and this card is upside down, so it's obviously very prevalent. If you've made mistakes, as we all have, or if you're a perspective of a situation or an incident is that it is a mistake, know that it really isn't. It really was something that you had to go through in order to be able to help someone else or many someone else's to go through their stuff. So look at it as a blessing because now there's miracles in all that you have learned as you've gone through what you've gone through. Whew, that was a lot. Okay, card number two. Ah. Awesome card. I love this card. Team spirit. Work together as a team. Cooperation, enthusiasm, loyalty, and kindness will ensure a successful outcome. Now, you might actually be doing something right now where you're working in a team, <clears throat> excuse me, in a team group. And if you are, know that there is no I in team. You know, we always hear that. And so join forces and as a team, work together. But I'm getting the feeling that this is two things. And first of all, is if you're in the spiritual world, you're doing spiritual work, or you're just doing work of like teaching, helping, inspiring, serving others. Know that when you grab hands with others, even on a high level, you know, if you are someone like that, you're a light worker, you're bringing light into this world. And you're being asked to join forces with other light workers so that that feeling, that vibration of light work that the earth really needs right now can spread across more places quicker by joining forces and coming together. When you're in the vibration of kindness, of loyalty, of love, that's the highest vibration that you can be in. So that's the feeling that I'm getting from this card. But here's the other feeling that I'm getting is that if you're someone that's going through something or just needing support, you have a team of angels and guides and spirit guides, guardian angels, the fairies, the archangels, and most importantly, your creator, who all want to join forces with you. I've made this reference before and you know some people laugh at me but imagine you are calling a staff meeting on a spiritual level who are you calling into your meeting i'm calling in god i'm calling in the blessed mother and this is non-denominational this has nothing to do with religion i'm calling in jesus christ consciousness he comes through and he offers forgiveness at the highest level and that's why i'm calling him in because i'm working through forgiveness I'm calling upon my father who is a guide that works with me and my grandmother, and I know that they're always with me. I'm calling upon the archangels, all of the archangels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, and there's so many others. I'm calling upon my guardian angels. I happen to know who they are. Maybe you don't, but you can. The whole point is get them all together. Say, listen, I need help. Listen, I need support. Whatever it is, they wanna help you. So that's what this is about, is joining forces, whether it's on the earthly level, on the mundane level of everyday earthly human stuff, or it's more on the spiritual level. Call in your staff meeting of your team of spirit guides that you need to help 
support and guide you because they want to help you. And then card number three, upside down again, is celebration. And this card is coming through to say to you, whoops, this card is coming through to say to you that you have been doing a great job. You're looking at your mistakes as past mistakes if you're putting the cards together and you're maybe upset with yourself that you made those mistakes, but you learned from them. So instead of being upset with yourself, give yourself a pat on the back, call upon your spirit team, and let's go out and play. Let's go out and celebrate. Let's go out and have a fun time. Maybe plan a weekend somewhere, maybe a day excursion, but do something fun because if you're watching these videos, you're obviously working on your growth more than others. A lot of humans are walking the earth asleep. They're not really awake. They're, they think they're awake, but they're really not. But you're watching this to the full capacity of this video, which is over 11 minutes, which means that you're working on your healing, you're working on your growth, and you need to go out and have a good time because part of being a human on earth is having fun and being present in the fun that you're having. So I hope that this message served you with very high vibe today. I don't really know where that came from or why, but good, I'm glad to hear it. And I hope that whatever you received through this message today was exactly what you needed to hear for your highest good. I wish you a great week. Bye.